everybody, Isaiah Colton here with Real Insider Pro and the Sales and Marketing Secrets Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about your sales and marketing plan and how not having one could be costing you hitting your goals. Okay, so we're going to be starting off just talking about the idea of what a sales and marketing plan even is. And I know this might sound simple, but there's a lot of different terms thrown out there when it comes to developing business plans and what's the difference between a sales and marketing plan and, and the importance of each one. Okay, so starting off, You'd be surprised how many people that I coach and train that don't even have a business plan, whether uh, in the real estate industry or other industries that I work with, they don't have a business plan. Now, more importantly though, in my opinion, is your sales and marketing plan. It's really designed to be an extension of the business plan because what the sales and marketing plan does is it's really the roadmap to hitting your goals. The business plan is kind of like the overview. Here's my business plan. And the sales and marketing plan is, okay, here's where actually how we're going to execute on it. And <clears throat> why it's so important to have one is because, let's be real, business is chaotic. You can get flip, you can go, be going in one direction and then something happens and you can get de derailed very quickly uh, into another direction. The other thing that happens too is let's, we're getting bomb we get bombarded with different ideas hitting us at all different angles. Different marketing ideas, lead generation, CRMs, technology. There's so many new things coming out that if we don't have a strategic plan to, uh, you know, between database, lead generation, lead conversion, all these different things mapped out in advance, sometimes we purchase things that really don't make sense and we end up wasting money going after what I call the shiny, the, the, you know, the shiny whistle or the silver bullet. And sometimes we purchase things that don't really fit into the overall plan and then it locks up a budget to be able to go do something else that might be more important. And so there's a whole lot of different factors that we're gonna talk through. And I wanna start off kind of by telling you my own story of how I developed this idea of sales and marketing secrets. And uh, I'm really excited to announce that we're actually getting ready to roll out uh, a program, a masterclass called Sales and Marketing Secrets Masterclass, which is basically a combination of uh, over 75 interviews from top uh, performers thought leaders, marketers within the real estate space, 30 million phone calls. If you haven't watched me or tuned in to me before, um, I actually train and coach ISAs all over the country. Particularly, I actually have an inside sales team that runs a broker-to-broker -broker referral program and they've made over 30 million phone calls. You think I might have a little bit of market feedback, right? Uh, and uh, also too, uh, we do intense sales and marketing plan plans for our clients, literally, uh, myself and my team have sent out over a million ringless voicemails to date with certain messages to get people to call back. Literally about 800,000 postcards we've done uh, between myself and my partners with about 43 different iterations of the postcards. Uh, and I can keep going on and on and on. Literally we've set 66,000 appointments to date and, uh, and moved through uh, either referral uh, or closings in some transactions on the listing side only, about $5 billion in real estate. So that's, when I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to you not only just um, some theor theoretical BS that you might hear from somebody else, but I'm, I'm actually talking about practical things that we do every single day where literally, literally people look at the sales and marketing plan and they come and they tune into my workshop and they have life-changing, business-changing moments within half hour sessions of just getting bits and pieces of the sales and marketing plan. And then once they get the whole plan integrated, okay, into their business, they're, seeing, they're, they're doubling, tripling their, their production. That, that's the plan that we're talking about. And in this podcast, my number one goal is to convince you, <laughs> is to persuade you that you need a sales and marketing plan if you don't have one. And if you, and if you have one, I sincerely you, you want you to uh, integrate and look at some of the things that we have to offer with our sales and marketing plan. And so getting back to our, how this uh, developed and how we got to this point, uh, when I first got involved in real estate, uh, it was myself and two partners. I was uh, designated as the CEO <laughs> of our three-person team. And uh, our, my goal was to figure out ways to build and scale the brokerage. And we went out and we were spending tons of money, 
I mean, I was buying everything. I was, I was, your, I was looking for the, the, the shortcut, right? The quick, the quick hit that take our business to the next level. And what I quickly found out is I was probably wasting over 50% of my marketing dollars on complete bullshit. It was you know, stuff that like at the end of the day had no fit with our plan, had no purpose being, you know, being involved in our marketing plan and, and, and you know, services overlapping. And one of the biggest things is I was destroying our lead conversion because our, our sales reps were having to log into multiple CRMs to work their leads. And it ended up being a, a chaotic mess. And that's when I set out to really figure out um, this, this process. And I, and, I, and I never forget the day that it happened when I actually was talking to my business coach at the time. His name was Jim Tegeter. And he said, Isaiah, well, what's your plan? And I said, well, I want to hit, you know, I want to hit 150 transactions our first year and our second year do more. And he's like, yeah, but what's the, what's the plan <laughs> to get there? How many leads do you need? How much money do you need to spend? What services do you need to sign up with? What's your technology budget? He started to ask me all these questions. And uh, quite frankly, I didn't have the answer to him. And uh, I kind of felt stupid, to be honest, at the time and embarrassed because uh, I've had success in business and it wasn't working. I felt like I was failing. And I was like, you know, um, what are we going to do? And so it, it, I really kind of went out on a journey to piecemeal this plan together because I couldn't find it. I'd go online and I'd find these templates and it would say, download our marketing plan. And then I would download it, right? Free marketing plan. And I'd download it in three pieces of paper with little calendars, you know, with, with suggestions. And I'm like, this is not a plan. Like, like, this is not what I'm looking for. I even took, bought all these different coaching classes and different things. And it, they had parts of plans, but they were really like not a full encompassing sales and marketing plan. And sometimes they would teach about sales and prospecting and closing, but it wouldn't connect with the overall picture of the plan. Or sometimes it would talk about marketing, but the sales and marketing plan, the activities never came together. And uh, so I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to build one with my team. We're going to build one ourselves. And that's kind of how everything launched. And what's really exciting for me is to see the success stories that come off of this plan. And you're like, Isaiah, what's this plan all about? Okay, well, uh, actually, I'm going to send you to a link where uh, you can learn more how to get access to this plan and uh, pre-register to our course in the future that we have coming out. But I really want you to think about a couple of different things in this podcast, a couple of takeaways. And, um, you know, uh, I'm going to kind of base this off of what I was doing with uh, Lewis, Lewis T Taylor, one of our, one of our clients, and Lewis, if you're watching this, hope you're doing awesome, man. And we had a great conversation around campaigns. So your, your plan should, number one, be a 12-month plan. Here's how it should break down. It should be a 12-month plan. And within that 12-month plan, there should be specific things you're doing each week and specific action steps. So you should have three components of your 12-month plan. You should have daily activities of execution with all the different things you got to do or you're going to have your admin do. The second thing should be weekly check-ins to make sure that those daily things got done. And then the third thing is should be a 12-month actual strategic drawn-out plan of what you're going to do, what campaign you want to run that month. So for example, what Lewis and I are doing right now is we're running a campaign with a free giveaway. It's called our 100 Calls in a Day campaign. And we're excited about it because the whole thing is designed to drive. It's like, um, Claire, it's not a sweep, sweepstakes. It's like a... Um, I don't even know the word for it, but it's designed to get people, like a, if you were to call in off a radio show yeah. and um, you would, you know, you, what you do is you have a giveaway and the key to this whole thing to make this thing work is to have the giveaway be at a specific, within a specific time frame and what you do is you send an email, you send, uh, you know, a text message, you do some videos, uh, you do a, a direct voicemail and we have all this laid out for you in, in this master class that's coming out. But what's really powerful about it is it all drives people to call in to get this free giveaway. Now, the power of this giveaway is they have to answer three questions to actually get the giveaway. They have to, number one, uh, when, they, when they call in, the, the first question is, is hey, um, you know, do you know anyone that's in real estate you know, uh, that is looking to buy or sell a home in the next 90 days? 
Second one is, do you happen to be, you know, in, you know, looking to buy or sell a home in the next 90 days? And the third one is actually a recruiting tool. Do you know anyone that would, that's thinking about uh, developing a career or would like to do, you know, have a career in real estate? So you ask those three questions and then what happens is you're generating leads and referrals and how this usually works is per 100 or per thousand contacts in your database, we can get about 1% of them to call in at, at that specific time slot. So you get a huge volume of calls um, in a condensed time frame because there's scarcity and urgency. And a lot of our clients, when they do this, they're seeing amazing results. I mean, getting, getting between 10 and 18 listings in a month just off this one campaign. But the whole point is, is that's just one example of a, a powerful sales and marketing plan. And the nice thing about this plan is that it has themes every month that you run based on the holidays, based on what's happening. And so you're, the takeaway from this podcast that I want you to get and take away is develop a sales and marketing plan, know your budgets, and develop a structure, develop time blocks, daily activities, weekly activities, and monthly activities that actually match your goals. Because the other biggest, the other big mistake is, is you might have a plan, but th- does that plan match the effort you're willing to put in to achieve the goal? If those two things aren't lining up, it's really tough to ever hit your goals. So um, anyway, I hope you got the you know action steps, takeaway, have a sales and marketing plan, number one, and number two, make sure it matches your goals so that way you're more likely to hit your targets and it'll help you from stop purchasing things and going after things that you don't need in your business. So tomorrow on tomorrow's podcast, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the sales and marketing plan, the different components of it. We're going to talk a little bit about how to execute on the plan, uh, what you develop, once you've developed it and the, in the, the pieces of what should be in that plan. So until, until then, Isaiah Colton, Real Insider Pro, Sales and Marketing Secrets, and hope you have an awesome day.